Welcome back to our weekly update. I'm Charlotte McLeod with investingnews.com and I'm here to give you a quick look at our top stories for the week. The gold price fell below the 1900 per ounce mark this week, continuing a downtrend that began about a month ago in mid-July. The U.S. Federal Reserve was in focus once again as the minutes for its July meeting came out. The central bank hiked rates by 25 basis points at that gathering, as was widely expected, and some market watchers believe it will be the last increase. However, minutes from the Fed indicate that may not be the case. They show that most participants still see significant upside risks to inflation, which could require further tightening of monetary policy. Overall, it's tough to say. Experts have pointed out that Fed officials are starting to seem less unified than they once were. For example, while the decision to raise rates in July was unanimous between the Federal Open Market Committee's 11 voting members, two people among the broader panel of 18 were in favor of leaving rates unchanged or could have supported such a proposal. Aside from that, in the time since last month's meeting, some Fed officials have expressed contrasting views on what will happen next with rates. Going back to gold, many of the experts I've been speaking with believe the yellow metal will remain under pressure until the Fed clearly indicates that it's done hiking rates. If that's the case, those looking for a breakout likely have at least a little longer to wait. The Fed's next meeting isn't until September. As we wrap up, I want to take a quick look at the lithium sector. M&A activity has been running strong this year, with the biggest deal being the 10.6 billion mega merger between major producers Liven and Alchem. This week, news hit that ASX-listed Azure Minerals has rejected a bid from Chilean miner SQM. According to Azure, it's received more than one expression of interest from SQM, the most recent of which came on July 12th. Azure has several assets in Western Australia, and its main project is the Andover Lithium and Nickel Copper Cobalt project. Azure has a 60% stake in the asset and said in a release that its rapidly developing understanding of Andover's potential is part of the reason it rejected SQM's advances. Even so, the companies will continue working together. SQM is Azure's largest shareholder with a 19.99% stake. It's worth noting that although the transaction between SQM and Azure didn't work out, Lithium experts are calling for further M&A in the future. In fact, Joe Lowry of Global Lithium specifically pointed to small explorers in Western Australia as an area to watch. That's all for this week. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'd also love to hear your thoughts, so leave us a comment below. We'll see you next time.